Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about handling redirects in route handlers. Remember in an earlier video, we implemented a dynamic route handler to return an individual comment by its ID. When we enter URLs like slash comments, slash one, or slash comments slash two in the browser, we see the corresponding comments. However, when we try slash comments slash four, we encounter an error because our current logic doesn't handle IDs that are not present in the comments array. Let's improve this by redirecting to the comments listing page if the request ID is not found. For redirection, we will make use of the redirect function from next navigation. So in the route.ts file within the ID folder, at the top, import redirect from next slash navigation. In our route handler function, we will add a simple check right at the start. We will verify if the entered ID is greater than the number of comments we have. If it is, we will perform a redirect to the comments listing page. If parse int params.id is greater than the comments array.length, we redirect to slash comments, which is the listing page. I have chosen this approach for its simplicity, assuming that the IDs in our comments array are sequential. You can of course opt for an array method to handle this logic. Now let's see this in action. If you go back to the browser and navigate to slash comments slash three, you will see the third comment. But if you try to navigate to slash comments slash four, instead of an error, you will be redirected to slash comments and this offers a much better user experience. Also, do you notice the request status when you try slash comments slash four again. It shows a 307 status code indicating a temporary redirect. What we have here is just one possible use case for redirection. I want to make sure you're aware of the concept. So apply it as needed in your project. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.